It started out like any other year. New Year's came and went, and everything seemed ordinary. And then the pandemic hit us with a vengeance. But the pandemic didn't just affect people's physical health. It also affected the health of the economy. We feel that it was a terrible year for the dollar, but yet an incredible year for precious metals. We went through so much. The world went through a pandemic. Hundreds of thousands of people dying in the United States. Political controversy. We had riots, protests, small businesses closed, economic shutdowns. Unemployment rose to an average of 9.9%. When we look at the economic picture, there's been a great deal of fallout. And what did the government and the Federal Reserve respond with? Stimulus packages and unlimited money printing. In fact, in 2020, we added more money to the economy in one single year than we ever have in the history of the United States. The Federal Reserve decided that they were going to shore up the economy with unlimited money printing. And the M1 money line, which tracks the amount of cash in the economy, rose at a straight vertical line upwards. If you think about the size of the U.S. economy and think in one year, there was more than 60% more money in the economy. What do you think that does to the value of the dollar? What happened to the dollar? The DXY that measures the strength of the U.S. dollar compared to other currencies fell by almost 13%. National debt? soared to above $27.5 trillion. In a year that was terrible for so many of us, gold and silver provided some stabilizing factors. And when we look at how gold and silver performed, gold went up over 25% and silver over 45%. And it's not so much that gold and silver go up in value, it's that the dollar goes down in its purchasing power, meaning that it takes more dollars to buy the gold and silver. Many of us got beat up in 2020, and yet there's a lot to be optimistic about in 2021. The vaccine will hopefully reopen the economy and we'll get back to life as normal. But in the meanwhile, we're facing many challenges. We still are facing the pandemic and political controversies and economic shutdowns, which should indicate that we're going to have another really good year in precious metals. Right now, Augusta Precious Metals, myself, we'd all like to wish you a very, very happy new year. And we'll be seeing you soon in another video. Now is the time to get the facts and get ahead. Request our guide or sign up for our exclusive one on one web conference where we make economics simple. This is Devlin Steele, Augusta Precious Metals, signing out. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check back often for more updates.